<laughs> Those are goofy ass wings. Uh, yeah, they are. So I'm calling this Zev's embarrassing yearbook photo era. Because <laughs> they released another haircut that I can use. Oh god, let's see, let's see. It's just the parted side. That's not that bad, because it, as far as I can tell, it doesn't hover off the... Or it does a little. I can see a little bit of a hover. Ah. Yeah, all of them don't quite touch my head, which is frustrating. Because they, the the they often use it's camera angles. They often use camera that reveals it. Bad, yeah. that's for sure. Yeah. I mean, I can't really talk because that's exactly how I wear my hair right now. Yeah, so. no. <laughs> it's one of the yeah. it's one of the few times I added a hairstyle that doesn't clip with the horns, so I feel obligated to try to use it, <laughs> just like the last one. And it fits that outfit very well. Happy Father's Day. You know, your son also calls me Daddy. There we go. I'm sorry, Effie. We have to start with you. Ah, uh, yep. Great way to start the stream. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. She doesn't even talk much, and she's not the same character. I don't know why you still. <laughs> I don't know why you still complain when you don't have to do the same voice, and she's literally not the same person. <laughs> That's true. The but long at the same sigh time, and complaint is often the... longer than the actual line she has that you have to read <laughs> afterwards. You're like, oh, what was me? All. all the reading I have to do. Me, Effie, who voices all of the main characters. Oh wait. Hey, I <laughs> voice all the people who die. Okay. No, no, he, he does have one character which is overly verbose and he's standing right next to you. <laughs> he also doesn't talk much anymore. Thankfully. He spent most of last session watching the story happen silently while That's just true. standing in the room. Like, he doesn't do that anymore either. That's a I think he just has residual complaining. <laughs> uh, <clears throat> excuse me. Oh, I'm sorry. I was stuck in my own head again. Sorry. We're gonna need a refresher about what again? What happened last time? It's two weeks ago. Um. Uh, anybody I remember? Don't remember? I, wasn't it something to do about a minecart? We came yeah, into that's like right. a ghost we, we, town, no. the, but they were hiding. No, no from I remember. Us. No, so the whole minecart thing was so we can go to the specific area so she can give over her body. Right. That's what we were doing. It's clear that Magnus has no intention of helping us. But perhaps we should ask the other residents? They may know something of the trolley. I'll the take trolley the north problem? side of town. Sorry. Let me know if you learn I was, anything. Oh, jeez. Uh, sorry, I was getting a snack. The, uh, the, the thing the last time was that we're basically on a quest to kill this child because she wants to kill herself. <laughs> and so we're trying to help basically. her do that. <laughs> yeah. Um, we must kill this child. So, Oh, she wants to say, we must kill this child. So, that's the quest right now. Yep. Yes. And we just spoke to a uh, drunken Hrothgar thingy. God. Yeah, Hrothgar. Yeah. God, it's been so damn long. Yes. Yeah. There you go. Then, Cred, art thou truly content to stand witness to fate's course and take no part? This isn't a matter of fate, Orianger. It's about choice. And I've had years to decide where I stand. Minfilia has spent too long in chains already. I would not shackle her again by m making my hopes known. It is for her to choose what shape her destiny will take. It is for me to stay silent. To protect her, teach her, and stand by her. That, at least, I can do for, for her. See, that's what I was saying last time, is that's the stance he should be taking rather than... That's what he is doing. every time he sees her. <laughs> so be it. Come, let us make our own inquiries. And yes, we, supposed I know to ask? Is... We, we already oh, asked sorry, everyone. Really they said, go speak to the drunken Hrothgar. And the drunken Hrothgar was like, no, fuck off. So now what? Uh, so, oh, suddenly the townsfolk could know the answers. <laughs> we gotta talk to Jack. Jerk. 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 He's the villains from uh, Animorphs. Oh god. Yeah, who are these? <laughs> uh, this was not me. I was the other guy of these two. Doesn't matter. Oh, yeah. there we are. You'll be pleased to know that I got our friend back home with no trouble, and he's just fine. He was a bit shaken up, is all. And you? What did Magnus have to say? Not a lot. Ah. I, huh? Ah, I did have a faint hope that you need, uh, you, you that your need might prompt him to action where our interest has not. But I suppose that was foolish of me. 
I am sorry that we could not, uh, couldn't be more of help. Though I could at least show you the trolley car where we, ha uh, car trolley car we have here, if you like. You could give it a stroke or two. It has some very smooth wood. Oh my god. That's a... Wow. Wow, All that's right, pretty good. I. I can't believe that got in there. You mean to say you're not giving up? Even knowing that Magnus is... Magnus? I don't see much point in your being stubborn about it. Though, perhaps stubbornness is exactly what this situation calls for. Can't forge iron without an anvil, after all. I can't imagine that anything you will try will work, but if you're certain you can help me make preparations in the event... Uh, wait. I, can imag I can't imagine that anything you try will work, but if you're certain, you can help me make preparations in the event that it does. To that end, take this toolbox. We're going to inspect the rails. I'll have a long, uh, have a look along the tracks for anything that's in need of repair. You bring the tools and be ready to hand them to me whenever I stop to work. Great. Remember I told you about that annoying section where you got to run up and down the rails and all the way back again? <laughs> this is it. <laughs> yep. Well, good thing Effie can fly here. Yeah, just as well we can all fly here. Yeah. Alright, Keith, you can fly here, can't you? Uh, can point? I? I don't, uh, probably not. Yes. Uh, well, this is part of an area we've been in nope. before. No. No, he hasn't beaten this the main a, story we, quest. We've oh, never, right. We've yes. never we've never been here before, have we? That's fine, because yeah, Effie can we fly. Have. We were Famous. on the opposite side. Yeah. We were oh, over yeah. at Sook last time. Well, stuff. given that we've never been to this half of the map before, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I doubt no. this that they would give us flying here. Yep. No, it's just Andrew's message throwing me off. Oh, where is... Ah, uh, sorry. So, where this is the right spot, wait but... Point. Oh. Right. Gotta open the toolbox. Oh. There we go. Jeez. Cut scene. Where? Or just stand next to him and click him. the um, key item. Yeah. Click. You open the box, yeah. revealing the proud array of lovingly maintained tools within. Brilliant! Now, if you could hand me what I need as I work, that would be a help! In this case, hmm, well, this bolt is loose, for one matter. We can't have that. I'll need to tighten it. Oh my goodness, really? Um, so, what is this, a kid's wrench. show? Yeah. A mid-sized wrench. Here's a saw. Take it off. Take <laughs> <laughs> your legs off. Thank you! This one will do nicely. Now give me a moment and... We should hand him the wrong thing at some point just to see what he says. We'll probably hand him the wrong thing just because he'll ask us something obscure. There! Oh. I don't see I don't see any other problems here, so let's continue along the track. Pack it up. Pack it up. Pack it up. Oh, uh, hopping in. Is keep not done watching cutscenes. I fell slightly behind, which meant that I had to what, still sit through all the animations. Tisk, 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 Keith. I was sent just an utter nightmare of context to, to dig through. It's one oh. of the funniest things <laughs> I've ever seen, but I can't explain it to anybody here. Fair. Oh, okay. Wait, can I? We'll just accept your word for it. I Sit won't. down the toolbox. The muscles in your arms enjoy profound relief, and open it once again. It doesn't look that heavy, really. You don't know how heavy it is. I mean, it has a no, freaking giant saw in there. Keep doing it wrong and talking to him. All right, I'll wait till Keith gets in there. Let me know when yep. you're there. No, just go. Okay. You're quite handy to have around, you know. As to the lamp here, these aren't often necessary these days, but if we're going to do this, we might as well do it properly. And if by some miracle the night returns, as it did in Lakeland, well, it's a nice thought. Oh yeah, this so place is like, corru like corrupted with yeah. light. I forgot about that. I was like, what are you talking about, you fucking idiot? You didn't invent like <laughs> better lights. What do you mean? <laughs> the world is just bright. Anyhow, a bit of this post seems to have splintered. Whether its lamp is to be lit or not, we wouldn't want these little pieces of wood jabbing the next person who comes through here to do maintenance. I'll need to sand it down a bit. You mean saw it down. 
It's going to be the file, right? Probably. Oh, yeah. The file yeah. labeled titled homework. <laughs> Pictures of terminally ill kids. This is a little rough. <laughs> like, <laughs> no. Yes, a woods file. Perfect. Well, I don't like that. <laughs> Why is it wood specifically? Let me even this out. Is that even a thing? Is there wood? Yeah. 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 It's got. It's. It has a different. Um, a different pattern on it for various different things yeah. like wood, metal, ceramics, different gauges, etc. Yeah, I thought there was just different gauges of, sa of sandpaper. I didn't realize it was like specific. Also, a wood file more, got more like teeth on it. Especially yeah, it's a bit a more one. intense than sandpaper. It's a file. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, uh, wood. Sandpaper file. is more for polishing and smoothness. Yeah. Oh, that thing. Paving okay. Yeah. Material. Yep. Gotcha. It's like the, the textured the little metal for, things. Yeah, like the thing you use for like a uh, zesting uh, lemons. Yeah, zesting. Yeah. yeah, it's like a zester. So it's a tree zester. Nice. <laughs> I like zest that. the tree. <laughs> yeah. Zest the tree. Do it, jerk. Zest uh. the tree for me. <laughs> that should do it. I'll bring some varnish along with me next time to finish the job. Oh God, he's gonna come back. I haven't spotted any other problems, so we can move along now. Unless you'd like to take in the view of the tracks from here for a bit longer. It's breathtaking, I know. No, I, I really don't. Look at that barren featureless wasteland. Mining has always been the primary vocation of folks in the hills of Amber, you see. But after a certain point, they had dug up everything that could easily be reached and carried back by manpower alone. It was then that the Nabath Empire struck upon the idea of the Talos, which they had seen at work abroad. At great expense, the Nabath brought the mystical engineers who specialized in Talos here to the hills. And wouldn't you know it, the mining industry picked right back up again. Wow, thank you, Wikipedia. I didn't realize that we were <laughs> joined with this. <laughs> Twine itself sprung up around that time, as a matter of fact. It was renamed, it was named after the entwining of tales, the fruitful cooperation between the native Ronzo and the newly come Mistral. What a bunch of, I hate that about Final Fantasy. I hate when it does that, where you're just like, I'm having a fun adventure. I'm going to give you the synopsis of an entire country. It's like, I didn't want to go away. What are you doing? Where's the button that like, says I didn't ask? Yeah, yeah. I came yeah, here like, to kill a dragon. I didn't hear to come. Uh, it's didn't terrifying. Come here to hear your life story. Like, like, it always can, can does it on? when things are like fun and cheery too. But it's like, oh, this is a fun scene. It's like, did you know that there was a war that went on in hundreds of millions of people? <laughs> I'm sorry. I just had fun. Please. Stop. There's a reason that it's called a side quest. <laughs> There's a reason it's called a final fantasy. I wanted it to mm -hmm. be done. But that, like so much else, fell apart in the wake of the flood. The Mistal left, taking their knowledge with them. Just didn't, never wrote it down. It was 15 years ago that the last of them, the folks from Dahlia Stoneworks, took off for Ulamore. And now, no one remains that can repair and operate the Talos. Damn. But there's no use in lamenting what can't be changed. And there's one more thing we need to do while we're out here, so we might as well get to it. Vultures occasionally make their nests on the tracks, you see, and it falls to us to remove them when they do. The creatures are angry when disturbed, which is natural, but <laughs> nevertheless, a danger to anyone passing by. It's not my favorite task, to be honest with you. As you may have noticed, I'm not terribly suited for confrontation. That said, would you follow the tracks north and remove any nests you find for me? I'll keep an eye on things from here. Or Steve Irwin when you need him. <laughs> On the end of a stingray. Mm. Damn. Damn. What the fuck? <laughs> he didn't Jeez. ask to be on the end of that stingray. Jeez. No, he did not. What? He was a he was a kind man, a friend to all creatures. Yeah, he was also. And an he likes poking things with sticks. Yes. He was also Australian. Yeah, I mean, fair. Is that a point in a, in his favor or against it? <laughs> It, that's, well, no, it's just what? his life expectancy. You just added it into that, that context, so I'm like, huh? <laughs> <laughs> we'll figure it out later. It's like you, it's like you lean in close and whispering, and also, he was Australian. He was Australian. <laughs> We're going the wrong way. <laughs> <laughs> Where did that air current? It's all the way over here. Oh, I fell down. You, you went the oh, wrong way, oh. Keith. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, yeah, hold on, right. hold on, hold on. There, I saw an error current in the background during one of the conversations, and I was trying to remember where it was because I forgot about it while I was multitasking. And now I've fallen uh, down. Press on, <laughs> uh, press on the thing. So it's a, it's uh, south. Wait. 
Oh, you already. Oh, you don't have this so one. Just uh, fly, it's gonna be. Just fly. Go back to the. Oh, back to the island. Back to the island. Back. 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 Up top. There it mm. is. Yeah, there was one over here. I was like, where was it? I, I, I saw it. it registered to, that's something I should do to after the conversation, but then I was dealing with messages while trying to proceed with the quest. What's going like, on with you right I, now? I lost it somewhere. <laughs> Words are hard, okay. <laughs> it's hard to maintain relationships while also streaming and recording all the time and not being reachable. <laughs> Fair. So, so awkward compromises happen during streams sometimes. Mm-hmm. Evil bird. Uh, I'm slowly getting there. Sorry, guys. I didn't get a, a lift over. Why didn't you get on? I don't know why because you it's ran a two over. Seater. It's a two-seater. Yeah. We're flying a dragon. What's a two I don't oh, have a dragon. Seat. It's a two-seater. This person's on a yeah. tank. Adventure cat, what are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> Emerald's just showing off his tank rail rolling along the rails. Oh, there's a nest for vultures. Yeah. What happens if we touch it? Oh. Your fingers get bit. Ah. That's not what fingers are for. No, fingers are for burning. Uh. uh that's not what fingers are for. Uh, that's what uh, Gordon Ramsay says. <laughs> no, Gordon. You can't listen to trust Gordon Ramsay. Have you seen Gordon Ramsay? Yes. He's also very rich and well respected. Not by me, that's why you but. Can't trust him. <laughs> yeah, fair. Thank you. That should be everything taken care of. In return for your help, I'll tell you a bit more about the trolley. Nothing that can't get it started again, though. As I said, the only people who knew how to repair the Talos are long gone. When they left, the life began to bleed out of the town. The trolley's tracks rusted, and its cars fell in <coughs> to despair. Now, I was born in Twine, raised there. My first word was trolley, damn it. And those were the worst years of my life. It seems like a hard word. <laughs> it does. It's a. I, I think. I think he probably just said "guh," and then was good enough. Done. But then, about seven years passed. Magnus, Magnus, and his wife returned to us. Magnus is a real proper trolley engineer, and perhaps he would never, or perhaps he would never have left in the first place if it hadn't been for his son. As you are well aware, Amarong is hardly the safest place, and Magnus wanted his child to grow up from away from its dangers. It didn't help in the end. The Sin Eaters got the boy. If <laughs> wow, there we go. There's the drama you were after. Yep. Mm-hmm. <laughs> it didn't even matter. He's like, I'm gonna fuck over this entire mining town for my son. Oh no, my son died. <laughs> like he just ruined. It just didn't work out at all. Great choices. Uh, it, it didn't help in the end. The Sin Eaters got the boy. Isn't that always the way? The child had always said that someday he wanted to see Magnus's trolley running again. So in his memory, they returned to Twine, started fixing those rusted rails and broken cars, and it was going well for a time. Uh, wicked white vultures? Are they back for revenge? Never mind, I don't want to find out. <laughs> he just ran off. Oh boy, then. We're gonna fight. Nope. I can't go click back. on... Ah, I can't ah, click on FB. No, get out of the map. Oh, the there we go. Just pressing every wrong button. <laughs> every wrong button. Accidentally open the map, then accidentally select the map. I'm trying to unselect the map. I'm like, well, how did I even do that? Did I already get it's all this almost stuff? like we haven't played for a while. Just bad muscle memory where I often just reflexively try to mount after anything. Yep. Yep. Mm. I've been playing too much of another game, and I've been reflexively trying to open up the menu for that. Yep. Hmm, nice work out there. And now that you know the story of the trolley, won't you do you much good without the Talos, though? If there was even a single one that still functioned, things might be different. But, well, here we are. Well, thanks for the pants, at least. You do talk a lot. And there's another and day. Panda. Andrew is now way past <laughs> what he should yeah, be at this point. A little bit. Five levels above. Am I? Yeah, this is a 76 quest. You're level 81. They should stop leveling uh, us. By the time yeah, we get to the end of Shadowbringers, you're going to be maxed out. 
Uh, yeah, I don't see you how say that well, No, because the experience throttle's pretty hard. Not that hard. I mean, me and Effie are both 90. <laughs> and I only just started uh, Endwalker. Well, I've got... Um, one, two, three, four, five... Yeah, 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 we know. I have 13 classes maxed out, so it's not really a fair comparison. <laughs> yeah, you finished the game, though, and you do raid, so no, it's not. This is also true. Ooh. Okay. All right, let's talk to the boy. Not that it'll do you any good, but we do have a Talos we've been meaning to repair. I can show you if you like it. It'd certainly be nice to hear something other than Magnus is gripping, uh, griping for a change. Damn. All right, show me your little fucking robot you keep in the closet. That's actually a lot smaller than I thought it would be. Well, we've seen them what is before. This piece of junk. Yeah, yeah, there we saw the broken one in the beginning. Yeah. So we did. This is you, Epi. Truly a most vexing state of affairs. I thought mayhap a closer examination might yield something of value. I see. The means to build Talos stone by stone are lost to us, tis true. But here before us slumbers a most fine specimen. Indeed. Were it not for a few minor failings, it would be in working condition. It will likely require naught but a few modest repairs and a suffusion of aether. Well, if you think you can get the thing up and running, far be it from me to stop you, but what exactly do you reckon is the problem? I should stress that I have performed only the most cursory of examinations, though such arcane constructs are not wholly unfamiliar to me. As I did in uh, sus uh, excuse me, as I did suspect from the first, it is host to a network of veins through which aether floweth freely. Uh -huh, or uh -huh. so it were, were it not for several fractures which now impede said flow. Okay, okay. Is it, like, constipated? How in the hells did you get all that from just a glance? I take it you thought up a solution as well, then? To bridge these fissures requireth a material highly conductive to aether. Once in place, I believe it will be possible to restore the Talos to life. Might I prevail upon thee to acquire that which we require? Not far beyond the walls of t a Twine dwelleth a creature of living stone, the Debitage. Full sure am I that stone from such a being would prove most suitable to our needs. Okay. Alright. Very good. I shall have Thangred and Menphilia attend to me in the remaining preparations. I spied but three obstructions to the flow of ether in the Telos, and thus would I ask you to provide three stones of the debitage. All else will be made ready upon thy return. Okay. So it's a triple heart bypass, gotcha. Basically. I am excited. <laughs> oh, uh, wait, is that... We gotta go murder stuff. For fun and profit. Mostly profit. Hold on a second, I got You think murdering things isn't uh, fun? Mm, depends on how often we have to do it. After killing the same EX boss over and over and over again, it becomes less fun and more of a chore. Uh, <laughs> just getting it down once in the first place is the hard part. Oh, or whatever. You get stupid. Okay. Now, is this a. Everyone could do their own kills, or are we going to have I don't think it's ever like that. Thankfully, and yeah. oh yeah, yeah. it's okay. just not how Final Fantasy works. Thankfully, yeah. Are there even ones over there. Oh, there it is. One. I'm killing one right here. This isn't what the circle looks like. 
<laughs> nice try. And we're done. Yep. Oh, is that it? Oh. Yep. Uh, <laughs> we, uh, I didn't even finish fighting one in the time it took you guys to fight two of those. Oh, right you now. are a tank. I mean, his damage is not your strongest suit. <laughs> Damn. Well, got that right. Hey, if everyone were good at um, everything, we wouldn't need rolls. <laughs> that'd be nice. Yeah. yeah. Say that. Tell that to the red man. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, fair. I'm pretty sure a four-man red mage group would do pretty well. Wait, isn't that a band of the red mage group? Uh, I don't know. Sounds indie. Blue is also another good example, as was just pointed out. Blue mage can literally do everything. Blue mages aren't in a real class. No, they're not. They're a limited class because they're limited. Yep. Well, just wait until 6.4. Or, or they're limited because they're unlimited. Bumped up to level 80. Oh, that's going to be fun. Everybody talking to Uriyanshe? Yep, yep. Yeah. Then Creden Metphilia will return ere long with the remaining supplies we require. Didst thou succeed in procuring stone from the Devotage? Yes. Sure. Oh, no interesting description this time around. Sag. Fine specimens one and all. You have my thanks. We need now but wait for Thancred and Minfilia's return. Ooh. Is this the return? It is. From end to end, the paths by which Aether may flow through the Talos have been duly mended. By faith be mended. They but require a sufficient endowment. I'm not well in doom. Squeeze it out. Or do, in, do, in dual? In doom did? <laughs> You'd think they'd ask us, considering how much excess aether we have going on. Yeah, fair. It's not moving. Wow, thanks for pointing out the obvious, Einstein. <laughs> Strange. Oh. The core refuses, uh, refuseth <laughs> to stir. I fear the condition of this Talos is more dire than I have previously surmised. As a heart driveth blood through a man's veins, so doth the core aether throughout this massive frame. Failing its repair or replacement, the Talos cannot be restored. So it was the heart after all. Thou didst foresee this outcome. Well, no. Not exactly. We'd never gotten this far in trying to repair it, so we had no way of knowing the heart was the real problem. We tried to find another, in case things turned out as they are now, but, uh... Eric? This isn't really my story to share? Please, Jarek. If something went wrong, maybe we can help. All right, all right, all right. After all you've done for me, I suppose is the least I can do. Complete. Is this where we're going to hear Magnus's tragic backstory? It really is going to be another flashback thing. Uh, it feels like that, doesn't it? All right. Am I talking to him? Uh, yep. I'm not sure Keith is. Oh, there we go. Right then, the Talos. Their hearts cannot be made of just any stone. You need a you need a special sort with sufficient ethereal conductivity. Both in and the other materials used in the construction of Talos bodies are mined in the same place. That place, of course, being here, the Hills of Amber. And it was three years ago when uh, when she. No, no, I I can't. I'm sorry, but you'll have to hear it from Thraf uh, Thaf or someone else. Ah, da, da, da. Okay. That didn't work out well. You'll no, have to hear from. <laughs> Back to the tavern, then. Not that we really need to fly here at this point, but... Our wolf. But lazy. lazy. That's just hard to say. Oh, this is... Yeah, this guy had the jacket. This is the first time we saw it. 
Was this the guy I was voicing? I'm pretty sure it was. I think so. Still here, eh? <clears throat> Sorry. You can ask again, but the answer's the same. Our trolleys are... What? God damn it, Jerick. You could at least have finished so I wouldn't have to clean up your mess. Seeing how you made such qu quick progress in fixing the talus and all, he was probably thinking you could help change things around here. And I think you might be right. Gather your friends, and I'll tell you what you want to know. Oh, oh, okay. Not as much of a coward, then. Oh my god, how much drinking have you been doing today? Circle up, class. <laughs> Magnus's wife was a miner, you know. Greatest prospector there ever was. When the golem hearts started failing, she was the first to head out in search of more. Problem was, most of the veins ran dry ages ago, and finding fresh ones to tap's only gotten harder. But she wasn't one to be deterred. She just kept digging deeper and deeper. And then the mine collapsed. We labored day and night to clear away the rubble, but it took us two months to find her. To find her body. Magnus has never been the same since. Where is he, if you don't mind my asking? Ah, yes, well, if he's not here, there's only one other place he'd be. And his wife's grave? Please, I hope, I hope not. What a cliche. Oh, God. Oh, cool. I can never, <laughs> never see a Final Fantasy game doing that. Oh, fuck. Must I tell you? The trolley won't run! We'd be better off dismantling the damn thing and selling the parts for scrap. Now piss off back to wherever you came from. And don't let me catch you around here again. What were their names? My son was named Skuli. My wife, Agna. Being here with them, it beats going home. Home stopped being home when I lost them. I thought to try and drown my sorrows. Somehow, the bottle's never deep enough. No bottle is. Believe me, I know. You've lost someone too. Not like you. Not my own flesh and blood. I grew up an orphan, so I never really knew what family meant. Not until I met a man who offered to take me in and make me his pupil. He was a kindly soul, always looking out for me, like a father. Not that I appreciated that at the time, or anything else for that matter. But I finally had a family, and then, and then I robbed a young girl of hers. I did my best to make amends, to offer her comfort. But the more I look back on it, 
the more I realized just how inadequate my efforts were. I let her down. That is why I refused to let her legacy die. In the end, all we can do is press on for those we have lost, for those we can yet save. And that requires your Talos. Please, Magnus. You are our only hope of reaching Nabath Areng. <laughs> what rubbish. She's not gone. No matter what you say or believe, she's not. We can still bring her back. Ah, bunny along my head. We did it. We listened to all of that and yep. got nothing out of it, apparently, because I guess he's still not going to fucking help us, <laughs> so... <laughs> Back to step one. Hey, yep. He just has to have a character arc. It's easy. Yep. Everybody talking oh. to... Yep. yep. Sorry, okay. Full well do I know the pain of loss and how heavily it can weigh on one's heart. Nevertheless, there is but one way forward. We must needs procure a new heart for the Talos. Baff, knowest thou any location wherein we might find the stone we require? No matter how scant the possibility, we would seize it. I told you. I told you near all the veins were tacked dry years ago. So I suppose if you really wanted to try, you might find something in Nuvi's leavings. It was opened well before Talos became commonplace, which is why the mining there was never quite as deep. When you get there, look for Guthjun and tell him I sent you. But don't be surprised if he tells you the same thing. Thine assistance is most appreciated. Hero, I think it best Thancred joined thee in this search. Though he wouldst be quick to deny it, his heart is in turmoil and his thoughts clouded. It would be unwise to ignore his distress. Oh, I already yeah, long past see. ignored it. I guess we gotta do that again. <laughs> ignored it? We yelled about it for half an hour. <laughs> True that. It got the the spotlight. Now. Oh, there he is. <laughs> there Little he is. broody. <laughs> Where's Wally? After somewhere, are you? At last, a lead on the stone we need to power the Talos. I can't very well have you go on your own. Lead the way. I'd say we're long overdue for a good turn. I can only hope the gods feel the same way. Now, Nuvi's leaving switch to the south, was it? Let's get going. Leaving sounds like poopy. It really does. East. Okay. I'm assuming that's... Yeah, that way. Okay. South that to is... south, who knew? How close that is? Oh, never mind. I think the... Oh, yeah, it's in that area. Sorry, I was looking up where the next... Um, Aether Current is for me. Uh, in this place. Uh, but gotcha. it's not it's not until the uh the middle bottom middle of this area and I can't we can't get there Oop. yet. <laughs> that yep. blue rock or just fall from the sky. And almost died. He's there he goes again. <laughs> <laughs> Bye. There he goes again. Oh. Let's see. The way you described it, I was expecting the place to be abandoned. 
Perhaps our fortunes are finally improving. Though we should probably hear what Gun Guthjorn has to say before we celebrate. Assuming we can find him, that is. Anyone want to take a bet with uh, that kind of name? What race? It's another. Are? It's another Hrothgar. Yeah, that's what I'm guessing. When do I get to be on TV like Willy Wonka? <laughs> Yep, called it. Yep. Had to be, though, with that name, right? Oh, I mean, it could have been a... No, it couldn't. <laughs> <laughs> no. His hair is always so goofy looking to me. Wait. Eh? Who are you? And what are you doing in here? Gerald of Rivia? Yeah, <laughs> Gerald of Riversville. Gerald of Riversdale? <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> oh, God. Well, you should have listened to Daff. You're wasting your time. But this site is not as developed as the others, is it not? Surely there must be something left. I should explain. The stone you're looking for is Leonine. All of the Talos and the Hills of Amber are powered using them. Or were, at least. Anyway, what's left, if anything, is too far below to be safely excavated. In the deepest reaches of the mine, we used Talos to keep the pathways from collapsing. They're still in there. They're still there, but but they could give out at any time. Which is why much of the mine is closed off. Then our only option is to search the higher levels for any fragments of Leonine that may be may have been overlooked. Hmm. I suppose there may be one other way. Well, don't leave us in suspense. What you're asking is, a, is for a trade secret. I'll need to be duly compensated in exchange. Uh, fine. What do you want? The other day I found a Volbert gold piece down in the mines. A bloody Volbert gold piece, and, I, and wouldn't you know it, I dropped the damn thing somewhere while I was working. Find it, and I'll tell you what you want you to know. I added a few extra words as a gift to you. <laughs> You drive a hard bargain, sir, but we'll take it. It seems we have our work cut out for us, hero. Thankfully, I have an idea for how we might hurry things along. Yeah, it's got a flashlight. <laughs> Make that metal shine. I was gonna I say a metal to detector, but that works too. I don't think you need a metal detector for something that's visible with your eyes on the also, surface. Also, gold doesn't show up on metal detectors. Uh, there are very specific it's, ones. Yes, yeah, ground penetrating it, yes. sonar, which is not the same as a metal detector, which uses magnets. But once, but once again, he just dropped it. It's not yeah. buried. This isn't a beach. <laughs> yeah, true that. Well, you don't know what you, you don't just, know what you kind of want a flashlight uh, so it reflects and you can spot it. Like, oh, there's there's a coin. Like looking for keys. Would a black light work on gold? Uh, uh, I don't see why it would. No, it wouldn't. It doesn't do anything. Yeah, fair enough. I mean, it's still going to be reflective one way or another, but... But black light's you, just worse than real light, normal light. Yeah, you'll yeah, <laughs> yeah, you'll still see it, but it's not going to be, like, any more visible. It'll, honestly, it'll probably make it almost harder to see it. Because if it's on the ground, then it probably will actually just look like the same color as the ground. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, under black light, it would. <laughs> yeah. This is very funny that in a universe where people are constantly like, Kittle seven dragons for me. I need a witch's brew. This, this guy's like... Yeah, I dropped something. <laughs> Can you help me find my keys? You're in the third expansion now? Uh, yeah. It's it's we'll give you a real difficult quest. <laughs> <laughs> to be fair, that coin is basically worth its weight in literally anything from what we were told. You can get yeah, literally usually anything is. for one of those. Well... No, I'm aware, I'm aware of how it's valuable. It's just it's very funny that like the level of effort is like... Yeah, I don't yeah. know, man. It's in here somewhere. I lost it. It's shit. I'm, yeah, really, really, I'm, 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 I'm real miffed. To look. To, I'm real miffed about it. <laughs> As I'm sure you've to give noticed, away just... trade secrets for it. Like he's <laughs> essentially is saying that like whatever he does for a living and how he can maintain that isn't worth as much as this gold coin is. Oh, but he or doesn't as much want to as go him look walking away himself. from this spot, right, exactly. Yeah, but he doesn't want to go find it. <laughs> like, it's... So he's working really hard to be really lazy. <laughs> Why does he it's get that leather honestly. crop top jacket and I don't? 
As I'm sure you've noticed, despite his, their best efforts to illuminate the corridors, it's rather dark in here. Meaning it would be much harder to find a single coin hiding in the shadows. That's why I propose we use these sun drops. They help the eye take in more light. Why don't you start your search further in, and I'll handle this area here. I'll retrace your steps after, in case you <sighs> happen to miss it. If you feel the drop's effects wearing off, I can give you more, so don't worry. <laughs> Thanks. So essentially, Dark a flashlight light. in your eyes. Yeah. <laughs> well, there are uh, solutions that specifically... Yes. How do I get that jacket without yeah, the white apples. part? Yeah. <laughs> they usually use what? it when they're testing your eyes. Oh, opticians. Yeah. I, I don't want that NPC's undershirt. I just want their leather jacket. Yeah. If, if we were to walk outside with this effect right now, we would be blinded. Blinded a bit. by the light. Oh yeah, we can do that, can't we? Still, honestly, my plan's better. Why are their butts so jiggly? <laughs> Did you see that? No. Why really? are the golems got jiggly asses? <laughs> I mean, they're made out of boulders, so... That doesn't add, that doesn't explain anything! <laughs> what the yeah, fuck does that mean? It's boulders like jello. It means they've got uh, heavy cheeks. Wait, hang on. What they've was got that? got a junk in their trunk. Famously, rocks look just like ass fat. <laughs> it is true. Got that Your DOA jiggle physics on, go on, on fucking Golem from <laughs> Pokemon. I found it. It's over here. I found it. Yep. It's mine now. Only one. It's mine. Oh no, he's found the one piece. Finally. Zip series is over. <laughs> yep, there's a glint. Finally. Is the one piece of stuff? Wait, is the one piece of coin? Oh, we don't know. No one knows. <laughs> yeah, we I'm don't know what the one piece coin. is still, right? No, no, I'm no. I'm pretty one sure the one... Yeah, we don't know. Didn't the creator have to come out and specifically say that the one piece is in fact not the friends we made along the way? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> because that's like, it's so primed to have that kind of ending. Uh, it's a yeah, it's cool a, trope, yeah. It's, a, it's so common in Shonen that like, by, he, obviously at this point, after like a thousand chapters, you know, he had to be like, okay, look guys, I promise it's not, it's not just friends. <laughs> like, not, it's not I did, I did, I'm not going to fuck you over, but trust me. <laughs> There's an actual monetary gain at the end of this, I promise. There's, I mean, it doesn't have to be money. It doesn't have to be It's not, it's not going to be money. There's it's some gain like, other than, yeah. People have speculated it's one of the super weapons. The, the, I, I don't uh, think pound that, glyphs. I don't think... I don't think that's it either. I definitely think no, it's I don't, going to that's be what like, people speculate, but I don't think it is. Yeah. I was hoping he'd drop the gold pieces somewhere closer to the entrance. More fool, more fool me for thinking Lady Luck was on our side. Bro, it took three seconds. Yeah. The quest was shorter yeah, than the conversation. Or maybe she is yours at least. In the end, my contribution was little more than poor company. Well, I couldn't have done it without your sun drops. If you could anymore, I'm kind of addicted now. <laughs> so you say. But you have a proven knack for success regardless of circumstances. I doubt very much I, I could have discovered it unassisted. Oh you didn't shit, even he's gaining sentience. You didn't even actually take them, they're a suppository. <laughs> oh jeez. I only managed to survive the Korthan wilderness and the Imperial capital by virtue of extensive preparation. A habit of mine since childhood. And one of my few positive traits, which endured me, endeared me to Louis Soi, I imagine. It hasn't been easy finding ways to compensate for my condition. Every tool and trinket has proven vital to my continued success, such as it is. And I had chosen to pursue the arcane arts rather than espionage. Well, I'd rather not think on it. So long as I have the means to protect those dear to me, and to see my duties through, that's all that matters. Now let's hurry to see that return to Guthjorn. The sooner we get back to Orion John Manfilia, the better. So he's basically got a Batman style utility belt with shark repellent in it. Yep. I like, I like the idea that he would just be like shocked that it worked. He's like, the sun drops worked? Uh, oh, uh, <laughs> yeah, 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 I'm glad I that helped they you. Would. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You're back. Wait, what does that mean? I'll be damned, you actually found it. Well, Wait, it is there's indeed. actually a coin out there? 
Yeah, <laughs> like you know, he sincerely wasn't one, and he like he had no <laughs> idea. He just sent us on a on a wild goose chase for a thing he made up. Shit. All right. Well, it is a deal. I don't think that means you'll find what you're after. Like you don't, look, man. I found this fucking coin. You don't know what I can find. <laughs> like, to be honest, I wasn't sure you could pull it off, but you did, and I'm a man of my word. Come with me. It's like my, I think that's my least favorite Ooh, Rothgar hairstyle in the entire game. Just had a phase walk. That'd be cool. <laughs> just looks greasy. What? But Your hair? His hair. Oh. Out of all the options, I think it's my least favorite. Well, I don't think he bays down here, Keith. I Until they added some of the really <laughs> cursed ones when they're trying to add ones without actually making new ones. It's probably his first time leaving. <laughs> oh, the sunlight. We, uh, ah, my eyes. <laughs> you haven't Baby. fixed that yet? Oh. Curse my sun drop Ow, addiction. Flashbang. Ow. <laughs> oh, God, no. Yeah, right. Forgot about that. Jesus. Uh, every time I step out of those mines, the sky seems to get brighter. Never leave them, if the air wasn't so stale. But you're not, you are not come to heal my grievances. You're after Leonine. First, I have to ask. Have you ever heard of rockworms? Uh, rock they pills for that. <laughs> <laughs> I know them by another name, though I'm fairly certain the locals call them knockers. <laughs> um, <laughs> uh, so it's not just butts that are jiggly when they're made of rock. I'm gonna want you to rough up a pair of knockers here. <laughs> first, it, first it was worms, and then it was knockers. All right. Yep. Yep. Mm -hmm. I bet they do. Whatever you want to call it, those little bastards may be the answer to your troubles. They can fit through cracks and, sur and crevices down where we could never hope to reach. And on oh. occasion, they come back with something valuable. That puts the whole fact that they're worms on a whole nother level. They dig up Leonine in the mines? It's a rare occurrence, but yes. That said, it usually amounts to no more than a few flakes. Well, our only other option sounds tantamount to suicide, so how can we draw out these rock worms? like rock music. Over by that shack, the love shack, you'll find the rock lobster, and you'll find a bag of... <laughs> bag, bleh, 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 a bag full of smoke bombs. Set up a few in the mines, and you'll flush them out in no time. Oh, okay. Once uh, You can use smoke bombs against surface, uh, things that are uh -huh. under the surface. So, basically, I mean, had there been any humanoids in there, we'd be committing a war crime. Got it. Would we? The, it's not Using, a I don't think it's it's it's, it's not, not poison. It's, it's just it's just smoke. Yeah. It's just smoke grenade. Yeah. What do you think modern day smoke grenades are made from? I don't uh, think that's. I, imagine I don't think you're gonna assume that that's what they're smoke. made of. I, it's it's not gonna harm these things. It's just gonna disorient them and scare them. Like this is. Note that uh, I said humanoids. It wouldn't do that to yeah. It wouldn't hurt a humanoid to be hit with like be in a cave with a smoke grenade. I would be just like disorienting. You'd probably be really upset because you don't know what. Huh? Suffocation? No breathing. How would you? Why would you suffocate? <laughs> because because uh, the smoke use... displaces oxygen. But the, it's going to be being uh, pushed out by the air in the cave. Most carbon dioxide or carbon. Well, that's it. The Using air is well stale. It doesn't area. flow. Yeah, he already said the air was stale. It's not like you can crack a window in there. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you can, but you might crack. This is his plan the rest B. Send us on, a, on, a, on an impossible mission. Now he's sending us on a suicide mission. Yep. Let's go yeah. into this enclosed space and fill it with gas. Yep. <laughs> this is your trade secret. You just walk into a cave and gas it. Like that's your secret. <laughs> well, the trade the trade secret was just that the worms are a way of getting the mineral. Yeah. Oh. oh. Once they're out in the open, knock them senseless and check their backs. It's just the fact that we're having to employ methods that are most likely going to be more dangerous to us than to us them. than the worms. Yeah, we're checking their backs. I thought we had to slaughter the worms and then gut them and then check their innards for having like half digested. That like, would make more sense, right? <laughs> yeah, I thought, I thought they were swallowing the the ore. That's how worms work. 
I should warn you this method of mining, if you could even call it that, is used as a last resort on account of what little they'll like to bring back. You'll want to cover as much ground as you can in hopes that you're finding anything of value. Assuming you do find something, bring it here and I'll have a look. Uh, and then I'll run off with it. <laughs> we should split up if we're to cover more ground as, as more ground as he suggests. If you can cover these three areas on the map, I'll see to the parts between them. Okay. But what do I get out of this? <laughs> a pat on the back. Mm. And money. And probably food. Mm. And clothes. Okay. Uh. Alright, I'm 50% invested. I grabbed bomb sacks. You like more loud whistles. Why can I not do this? Hold on. I'm not in. <laughs> Here we go. Okay. Onward. Onward to victory. And suffocation. Oh, geez. The acrid smoke from bombs such as this is said to drive knockers into a frenzy. Oh, so it doesn't knock them out. It just pisses them off. Gotcha. Yeah. Nice to know. Well, I can't wait to watch them break it down. Okay, nothing bad happened so far. Huh. Although it is definitely smoking. That's rather anticlimactic. That's fine, it's fine. Sure. Until it's not. Until uh, it's, it's not. It's fine. Oh, there I see it. Oh, what do they hate? Maybe it'll they summon like a ground. raid boss one. That one will be covered in the stuff. Oh, you made a friend. Hate me. What the fuck? And the aggro cut off my speed boost. What the fuck are you? Stop. All right, I need to burn this place down. Deploy shafts. Deploy flares. Okay. This last one would be something at least. I was promised rock worms. Did you not get rock worms? Where are the rock nope. worms? I'm assuming they're all under this rock. That's oh my dangerous. god! No. Oh my god! I'm under personal attack! Oh, okay. So we just gotta fill the whole cave with smoke and then go look for rock worms. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um. Ooh. I think we found one. I'm interacting with it. Oh my god, I found more underneath the rock. Oh, it's these guys. I thought they were supposed to be worms. <laughs> yeah, I was about to say. We're talking about the horrible spider the creatures. Like... They just spawn here? What the fuck? We did it. We achieved our first proper, like, spam farming quest in all of Final yeah. Fantasy XIV. Well, that was one of seven. Yeah, exactly. Oof. Yeah. Like, oh, oh, right. An, an actual MMO quest in this MMO. It's kind of shocking, honestly, at this point. Look how many there are. Okay. Onwards to the next area, I guess. Yep. So far, we've got two of seven rocks. My God. This is going to take forever. This is accomplished. It'll be easy. I don't think it was Bez. difficult, just tedious. knowing it like won't a few be. minutes. Can, next time, instead of fighting 50 of these things, can I just fight one, like, giant worm? That would be preferable. Uh, again. There we go. 
I don't think that would take up too much budget. That is? Are there any behind us? Nope. Nope. There's more ahead. Uh, probably have to go back on ourselves through here. There's one right here. Yep. There's a couple oh. in here as well. Uh, oh, someone needs to pick. Oh my god. Ooh, hey. Rit. Oh, there's more. Okay, don't stop coming in the don't stop coming. What are you doing, knockers? That's four. Next. Alright, there's one over here, along with the dead robot. Die, knocker. You don't, you don't belong be long in this, in this world. world. It's over for you. Got him. Wait. Okay, got him. Two left. Five out of seven. seven. They're probably gonna not be too bad. Area. Yeah, I already saw one over on the right. I'm a coming. Can't even see. sounds they make is just the best. Alright, coming over to the last one. Wow. Wow. Like, must be fun. For disturbed? <laughs> yeah, it must just be fun to be like a monster sound maker. You just got to <laughs> mash it together and just be like, eh, I don't know. It doesn't sound very monstery. Oh, well, that's what synths are for. Running through a soundboard, tink with it. I'm sure you can get a monstrous sound out of practically anything if you try hard enough. Yeah, I think the T Rexes in Jurassic Park are like dogs or something, right? Uh, um, it's I don't know. I There's don't like, remember, but it's a combination of animals. Oh, oh yeah, and a lot of them are just weird things. Like this, this monster yeah. noise is us playing a cello with a piece of chalk. Yeah. Like, what the f <laughs> Why can't I not mount up? What that is sounds horribly complicated. Oh. I uh, you should not see a folly studio. It is horribly complicated. <laughs> yeah, a lot of a lot of a surprising amount of sounds are people just playing instruments wrong. Yeah. <laughs> like, what if I use this file on this violin? Those poor strings. Yeah. Rings. <laughs> it's, okay. it's okay. They they can write them off on their uh, taxes. It's a business. Yeah. There you are. Find something. Find anything promising. Rocks. Ooh, hard work. <laughs> Here's a lot of rocks. Between the two of you, I'd say you've got quite the haul. Let's get comfortable, friends. Um, it's going to take some time for me to sift through all this. Wow, you found one piece. <laughs> Come back for 60 more times. Yep. <laughs> That's it's today's daily. daily quest done. In three yep. months, you'll be able to continue the story. You may not remember this about Arminfilia, but prior to founding the Path of the Twelve, long before the Scions, she was something of a miner. After her father died, Flamine took her in and taught her the trade. I think they were both seeking to fill the void left by a loved one. Maybe that's why she took to it so readily. Back in those days, I spent most of my time in the quicksand, or some other tavern, loosening tongues and gathering secrets. Occasionally, I'd catch a glimpse of her in the street, on her way home after another hard day's work. I always felt a wave of relief when I saw she'd come back safe, along with a pang of guilt at the fact I wasn't there to support her as I should have been. Simply speaking with her more than once in a blue moon would have been a good start, but I could never bring myself to do it. Instead, I threw myself into my work and became every drunkard's best friend.
I can't imagine she thought too highly of you back then. Not too highly, no. She once called me a wine-sodden wharf rat, which wouldn't have been half as galling had it not been so accurate. But that was a lifetime ago. Here and now I have another chance to do things right, and I will not squander it again. Hey! Come and see what I found! <laughs> You're not going to believe this! Tell me it's Leonine. It is at that. You lot were born lucky. It's mostly broken pieces. But look at this. This is a rather fine specimen. Sir, you learned what this rock was yesterday. It's been decades since we found anything approaching this big. But that's not all. There's an engraving on it. Ah, these scratches here. They're a little hard to make out. To my beloved Magnus and Schooley. What a fucking deus ex machina bullshit. Right. Are you kidding me? A fucking dumb signed autographed rock is gonna fucking fix this whole problem yes. for us? Do you see? It was a gift to Magnus from his wife. She found it. She really found it. She must have spent her final hours carving this message into the stone in the hope that he might see it one day. Those rock-backed bastards must have made off with it before we could clear a path to her. It's fate that brought you here to find this stone. No other explanation. It makes me wonder what else might still be buried in these parts. Dun, dun. Oh, uh, Effie is dead. Goodbye, yep. Effie. Ready I wouldn't go. believe it had I not seen it for myself. Before you set it in the Talos, would you take it to Magnus? For three long years, he's believed she died for nothing. He must know the truth that her sacrifice was not in vain. We'll take it straight to him. You have my word. Thank you, Guthjon, for all your help. Yeah, I don't know, this is one of the most contrived and easily tied up things ever. It kind of hurts. <laughs> Alright then, let's not keep everyone waiting. I mean, and we don't even need to be here. This isn't our problem. Like, we're just here to use a fucking public transit system to get to the other side of a cave. We're yeah. Not, like, yeah, and we're like we have, immediately we no... like... Redefining this guy's sense of history of his tragedy yeah. and so on. But if anything, it's like I feel yeah. like he's not gonna want us to use this thing as fuel. <laughs> like that's kind of it's like we've taken this basic thing that we need just to continue the story, and we've imbued it with such a bizarre level of like guilt and emotional baggage, and then we're just gonna be like, and into the into the the coal train. Yeah, choo -choo. but then anyway. His wife literally died to power the Talos, no. so it would be but, denying the purpose for which she died. Yeah, so that's a toughie. That death wasn't worth it. It wasn't, yeah. no. It never would no, be. No, definitely not. She also did die in vain, because her finding the rock didn't help it get nope. eaten better by the worms. I like. <laughs> 
It's not. Like... You're gonna go with a rock pun because she was in that yeah, mining uh, vein, like yeah, like an ore vein. I was waiting for it. Yeah, she literally died in vein. Yeah, it's like her. The fact that she found the rock didn't like help us discover it now or anything. Like the worms just no. found it. They didn't care. That it she was wrote literally on it. a dumb coincidence. Yeah, so she literally did die in yeah, vein. Yeah, the, the astronomical pointless. odds. But obviously, like, also not. This guy says he does it all the time. It's a fucking trade secret. So like. Well, he said it was so specifically unlikely to. Today, to he said specifically we were unlikely to succeed. Yeah. So if we uh, hadn't turned up today and he'd gone and done it, he would be the one to find it. He wasn't looking for that stuff. Yeah. He, he probably would have just tossed it aside that. because it's just any old rock. Who knows? Well, I just, I just they were in, they were they haven't been mining that stuff because it's supposed to be they're supposed to not have any left. What? Who is? Sorry, who is? Oh, or it's you. If you've come to complain about the trolley, you'll have find no sympathy from me. I told you before it wouldn't run, and you wouldn't listen. Oh, but it will. Now that we have this. Ha ha, your wife died <laughs> carving like a, this. There's like a kid on a playground, he's like holding a thing up. Told you so. In your face. <laughs> this is a weird quest. <laughs> your name is engraved on it, along with your son's. It was a gift from your wife, Magnus. From Magna. She left it at my place last night. <laughs> <laughs> No. No, she couldn't have. Agna. Couldn't we have just written this on a rock? Like We're going to we're gonna need that back now. <laughs> I assume she'd know her, the handwriting. Mm. Take it. Do with it what you will. <laughs> we just have shit writing, it just looks very obvious. <laughs> like it looks like a child's <laughs> handwriting. Are you certain? It would delay our plans, but I said take it. It was you who found it, you who needs it. Looking at that stone, all I can see is, is. Please, just leave me be. I hope you'll be there when the Talos stirs to life. I'm sure she'd want you to see it. Stop driving, hey. just stop leaning on this tank, or it is so unnecessary. <laughs> yeah, dude, this is a lot. Would you do the honors of delivering Mr. Orianje? Honors? I might, say, cause nothing but misery. I might go as far as to say this is the worst quest in this expansion so far. I told you I didn't like this zone. Damn. Like, it's, I thought I was being hyperbolic. I, mean, I, I don't see any reason, like, the, the zone could be fine, but like, oh my god. <laughs> the storyline just doesn't work. It's such well, a bizarre mix of like emotions. It's so just like excessively melodramatic for an unrelated thing. It's just a strange it's like choice. It's like all over again. <laughs> the melodrama just doesn't actually fit what we're doing here in any real way. So it's a strange thing to bolt onto it. Thou art returned, and with Leonin, it seems, or it would seem rather, as promised, the Talos hath been made ready to receive its heart. Thanks in no small part to Jeric, Thaf, and Menvilia. At last we shall uh, we shall return time to the timeless, the Sentinel of Stone, that we may press on towards Nabatharang. Hurry up already, dude. Why do you always give us a goddamn National Geographic speech when we're trying <laughs> to do a thing? <laughs> Very good. Let us begin. Okay, let's go. Okay. When Thaf dropped off his friend that we beat up, were, was he? Were, was that? Would you say that was him separating the weak from the Thaf? <laughs> Preparations uh, for the what? enchantment are complete. When the heart hath been suffused with a sufficient quantity of ether, the golem should be restored to life. All right then. Whenever you're ready.
working. It's working. Magnus. This wretched heap of stone and rubble. You versus the golem. She warns you. Says to not to worry about. It. <laughs> <laughs> this worthless pile of earth. And yet. to be. I don't deserve any of the things you've done for me. I'm just a burden, helpless and hopeless. If tomorrow came and I was gone, it would be better for everyone. Thancred most of all. He'll never admit it, but I can see it in his eyes. I wish he'd just say it. Just say that he hates me. That he wishes I was dead so that she could return. None of this is thy doing, child. Twas I who set the Oracle on her path unto the first. I who condemned you all to suffer these torments. Tis my sin alone, and one that will haunt me unto my dying day. I dare not dwell over long on my many regrets, for the world is a tapestry of fates, interwoven and inseparable. And we who strive to better it cannot choose but make difficult decisions. For naught of worth was ever achieved without sacrifice. And thus must man ever struggle to weigh life against loss. The one for whom thou mournest beareth no grudge. Were she here, she would not suffer thee to languish in sorrow. She would tell thee to seek thine own path, thine own purpose. It is a truth which I myself was slow to learn. Yet a truth it remaineth. Thou needst but have faith, have faith, and all will be well. Gautura. Might as well just keep going with the movie cliches. That's what we're just going to live with now. Yep. yep. Not today. Go. I will throw you off that My, ledge. I'm yeah. swear to God, dude. What the fuck? By the ankle. <laughs> I am so <laughs> done with this. And you wonder so why I've been saying this entire time. It's like, he's fine to be broody. Just don't do it around her. Everything he has done. Like, it's just. Uh. He's literally doing the thing you just said. To not do yeah. like he's little. Yeah. No, no, no. I mean, he's listening to you. <laughs> you keep saying this is At why, but you're usually but you're usually saying, "See, see what I said." And I'm like, "You're saying it usually while the game's contradicting the thing you said." <laughs> Jeez. 
To what do I owe the pleasure that is your extended stay? Oh, to the tediousness of our hero's present endeavors. That and the insufferable abundance of light in Armour M. I should be glad to keep my distance. Rather fond of sleep, you know. It's a wonderful way to pass the time. Not that my compeers would agree, mind you. Always on the move, a lot of them. Like La Habrea, constantly jumping from vessel to vessel. Such fire, such determination. So much passion, fleeting and forgotten. Come to think of it, Exarch, I don't believe I've ever seen you retire to your chambers for so much as 40 winks. However do you keep your eyes from closing? The cold shoulder. You wound me, sir. Always so guarded in our every interaction. Interactions you curiously refrain from sharing with the Scions and their champion. And risk souring your budding relationship? I think not. Much as I dislike you, there are more useful targets for his energies. And I'm not in the habit of pointing him at my enemies like a weapon. Is that right? Fond of him, are you? You continue to fascinate me, Exarch. But tell me, who are you? The once great nation whose ingenuity gave birth to this tower was shaped by my hand. As such, I know full well the wonders it can facilitate and those it cannot. There is nothing in these walls which could have aided you in summoning our dear friend across time and space. much less in possession of his mortal flesh. Not even I could have performed such a feat. I see. You had a hand in Alag as well. You would know what I am? I am the adjudicator of the sacred history with which you dared trifle. I am keeper of this tower's boundless wisdom. The wisdom of ages without age, of everywhere and nowhere. The great work of those who tamed the wings of time and grasped the nature of the rift. Tis a boon born of the sacrifice of brave heroes who gave their lives for a brighter future. I will not see their hopes and dreams squandered. The history which led us here will be unwritten. I promise you that. I'm kind of stupid, but what was the subtext there? What is this fucking well, guy? Is he supposed to be... To I think he's there. trying to say that he's a body hopper like him. On that much, we are in agreement. Yeah, is he like, is that, to. is he, is he, yeah, is the implication that he's literally just like a good, not good, but like the light version of whatever they are? Right, exactly. I don't know what the word is, which is why I just called him a body hopper, so I don't know what the good okay. version would be. <laughs> yeah. Okay. But then again, sure also, was, yeah. I mean, it could it just be a like, separate kind of... faction of their race, I guess. Also, are they a race? Being, are, are they like time lords? They're just well, like, yeah. It, it was explained that they were inhabitants of the realm that the was original, yeah, the before the original it world split. before it split. Yeah, so they were a race. 
Um, also, is it just me or did the exarch just give a none answer to that question? He's like, who are you? And he gave a vague description of himself, but didn't actually answer the question. Yeah, he threw a bunch of titles, but nothing specific. Yeah. Yeah, that's what I mean. Was, like, what was, the, was, I, was I supposed to just like go, oh, I know who you are? Yeah. I, I felt like I was just like, oh, okay, that's a lot of titles. Cool, dude. You're yeah. pretty busy. <laughs> like, yeah, to, answer, to answer your question, yeah. Andrew, they, they they told us that all of the La Habrea people, whatever they're called, are enthralled that, by me. I know the basically. name, I've just completely forgotten. Asian? Yes, thank you. Asians. Thank and you. And also enthralled and yeah. Aeon are both the wrong words too, probably. <laughs> so if you can translate every word in the sentence I just made up, then you can you'll be on the right track. <laughs> <laughs> it's a bit of a oh, struggle. Wow, I can't believe you just. Well, actually, we know that there's. Fantasy. You know how the Aeons and Thrall um... people, but they're called other stuff. And uh, so. <laughs> Malfell? Oh, do you mean the they're called dwarves here? I yeah. didn't say no. No. But right. yeah, we, there's got to be good Asians because you know the light. No, he said the Final that, Fantasy um... summons. Oh, the primals. Oh, uh, primals. The... yeah. And then yeah, whatever so they say instead of the carbuncles. Yeah, no, no, no. So originally no, the Ashians carbuncles. summoned. Originally the uh, the Ashians summoned a primal, which then split off into a dark and light side, which meant there must have been a split on the Ashians, and there's a light half to them, maybe. They fractured with their god. Who knows? Because I mean, we would got make the light the side. Most sense. We got the light side. Um, helping us, right? That's what the echo is and all that. Well, it's it's also possible that the people who are following the light side, quote unquote, yeah, could be the individuals who lit Can't off remember. into the races that are here yeah. now. Could be. Whereas so, what, the Asians, they Asians. found <laughs> the the Asians. Help, we toaster. Know. We have no idea what we're talking about. Specifically. <laughs> Found a way to. I think we're going to escape the system. theories. <laughs> yeah, that's because we know that they point. can travel <laughs> between the worlds yeah. freely, and they can tra uh, travel into whatever void or outside of this without fear of death or anything, just by simply escaping. So they escaped the split. Presumably. I'm sure we'll find out. Uh, yeah. More lore. And seven years ago. Oh dear. Lore me. Chew Effie. Right. Uh, mind apologies for the delay. Minfili and I had a private matter to discuss, which bringeth me to the question: How didst fa uh, thou find Thencra during your search? He spoke of Minfilia, of his own accord. I see. Tis well that he did, and with such candor. I attempted to broach the subject before. Mine intention was to ensure no words remained unspoken between them, lest tragedy intercede. A regret I myself know all too well. Alas, in the end he refused to heed my counsel. A time will come when they must face the reality of their circumstances. But I have faith that all will be well in time. Now, let us not tarry any longer. The Talos and Naba Tharang await. Okay. Yeah. I love how Urian J is always telling us not to wait around or tarry or take too long. He insists on talking too much. He didn't say much. <laughs> Magnus is grinning from We just said way ear. worse beforehand. It's been years since I've seen a Talos in such fine shape. Would that Agna... Would that Agna was here to see it? Or our son? <gasps> After everything that happened, some robot thing standing up would totally make them happy. 
I was ready to just let her dreams die down there in the mines. Even after you'd found the Leonine, I refused to believe it could work. Gods, what a fool I was. It's good she died, actually. <laughs> <laughs> but I oh tell you now, I'm going to take good care of this Talos. For both their sakes. On behalf of my family and all the miners of Twine. Thank you. Well, enough chitter chatter. Let's get you lots to Nabetareng, eh? Please, please do. Everything seems to be in order. I take it the Talos's presence resolves resolves the issue of the gate. Hmm. Oh, that yes. It's designed to open at the Talos's approach. Then we can finally go to Nabatharang. You certainly can. All that remains is a final check of the control box over at the mines. Hmm? Check, check. You hear that, boys? Get, the Talo get that Talos over to the mines. Keep a close eye on it around the curves, understood? Yes, sir. Let us repair to the mines, then. Before we go... While you are away with the hero, I prepared an extra set of cartridges for you. And this one... It's the practice cartridge you gave me. I know I should have, uh, should have thrown it away ages ago. But I've been adding a little extra to it every day. After so many charges, I'm not sh I'm honestly not sure what it will do. But I wanted you to have it. For luck. And totally not so it'll explode in your pocket. <laughs> Minfilia, I, uh... We should hurry. Magnus and the others are probably wondering where we are. With only left 30 seconds ago, I should hope not. Quest accepted. Finally. We did the thing. And now we fly. A very long distance away. Oh, me. Yep. Ride me. <laughs> Maybe I have a different read on this, but I feel like, like mentally, I just assumed that like the, the fuel can't last that long since the their society was seemingly dependent on these robots being fueled by this mineral, and now none of them are working. So I figure it must not it must run out in a relatively short time scale, even if it is like a year or something. Well, no, the the anoint is not a fuel source; it's a battery. The fuel source is the aether, but the battery broke. Well, not only them? is it acting as a battery, but it's also acting as a natural... No, the, the rest of them are broken. Like, actually physically broken. No That's one's been maintaining these things. That's yeah. the problem. Is that, like, there's not enough people to maintain how many robots they need to make this whole system work. And back yep. then, there used to be, like, a whole city that was maintaining this shit. So... They just, yep. that's why he's saying, like, I'll make sure it doesn't fail, because as long as he just sits there and fucking dedicates his life to maintaining it, it's just like a car. It'll run forever if you just keep it going. It, yeah. The fuel source isn't, isn't the issue. Well, the uh, fuel source is kind of the issue, because... The, uh, well, if it breaks, was, yeah. <laughs> well, no, Orianje was saying that the natural flow of aether here has been blocked. No, no, it, no. He said the fuel lines in the golem are blocked, oh, which is why we've okay. got the bits... Yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm, I misunderstood yeah. that then. So yeah, oh, the fuel bad. tank was broken and the fuel line was broken. And <laughs> we replaced those and he poured some fuel in it and it works again. He fucking leashed and, and healed what and then why? ran back. God damn it. Yeah, what the fuck? It's so going annoying. Away. I'm already talking to Minfilia, so I can't stop the conversation. Fine. Yeah, that's I just, fine. I just don't. There we go. It's dead. Kind of weird. Yeah, also, it's a good thing that Uriamji actually knows what he's doing with this shit. <laughs> mm. Yeah. 
So this is it. We're finally going to Nabatharang. I've thought long and hard about what I uh, what to say to her, uh, to the real Minfilia. I hoped when the time came I would know, but with every step we take, I feel more uncertain. There's no reason to give up, though. Not when so much is at stake. Thank you, all of you, for helping me to get here. Now, let's not keep Magnus waiting. So does she have a name that she got before Minfilia? Uh, I... Oh, hey guys, guess what? It's a uh, solo instance, you know. Because we totally uh, can't imagining. have... Oh boy. Uh, yeah. This is why we can't have nice things. But anyway, mm -hmm. my, my point was just that like they clearly failed to keep all of them going, so whatever oh, went clearly. wrong is still probably wrong. So us finding one rock doesn't seem to solve anything, so... Magnus is tying his like self worth and feeling all to this one robot that's probably going to just also stop working in a few years, just like all the rest of them. Just yep. seems like just a real just bad time for him. Oh, damn it! I actually skipped dialogue. I'm try I was trying to right click on just the party and leave it. Yep. Just to cancel. How do you cancel? Like skip through all the dialogue and then click uh, uh, leave. Uh, I mean, I can just read the previous dialogue. I just I can't leave the party. So Maxima needs can Maxima do it or? I'm stuck in dialogue as well. Right, I guess right but if you skip through all, all the right. dialogue, it'll stop you from going in because you're in a party. So yeah, you'll right. have to... Yeah, it's so annoying that it yeah. doesn't just there, give there you, you a prompt to leave your party. Yeah. Right, let's try this again. There you are. So what do you think? A little primitive looking, I'll admit, but Daedalus Stoneworks has always favored a simple, intuitive design. And that philosophy has served us well enough. Has it? You literally don't function. <laughs> Much of the trolley network uses single tracks, making it easy for the Talos to navigate them as needed. And plotting a route is so simple, even we can do it, which makes for fewer accidents in transit. Speaking of which, are you ready to board? Yes, All right, then, much. watch your step. I feel like this entire setting doesn't really make sense, so I'm, I'm ready to stop thinking about it. You don't think the Final Fantasy world has its own industrial era? <laughs> I just, I don't think that this whole area is very thought through or makes any sense. We've technically had our industrial area. There's airships flying around everywhere. Ariage? Thou must needs carry on without me. The path to Nabatha Rang lieth open. Whilst thou travelest thither to the south, I would apprise Mistress Elise and the others of our progress. As circumstances permit, I will thereafter rejoin the hunt for the remaining Light Wardens. Magnus, will the gate close immediately after the trolley passes through? No, it will stay open until someone closes it manually. Built that way to prevent any untimely accidents. Then you and the others can meet us in Nabatha Reng after giving the Yomorans the slip. Uh, Thank you for everything. Remember, thou needst but have faith. If you've finished with your goodbyes, I suggest you grab hold of something. Be a shame if you took a tumble. That's why we nailed her feet to the floor. I'm just like, guys, sit down, you weirdos. The tracks beyond the gate aren't in the best of shape, so the trolley can only go as far as Ammalik. Godspeed! Isn't that where we are right now? How do you already know how far we can go if the door is closed? <laughs> it just pushes it through the door and it goes like two feet and it's like, there you go, you're yeah, here. Like, how does he know how good the tracks are? <laughs> I mean, presumably I just... there's documentation somewhere. No, because the door down. has been closed. They haven't been able to inspect it because the door still hasn't been opened. 
Yeah, because it won't open for anything but a Talos. It just seems so nonsensical that he somehow knows how far the tracks are good for when no one's been there. Very well, strange last quest. Time, oh, like, last time they opened. The oh, the, there's a tiny little gap. Maybe they just peek under it. Or even being brave, assuming the gate will still work. <laughs> they look, the talus just starts kind of like patting itself down like, uh Oh, I did not bring keys. <laughs> like, <laughs> <laughs> so far, so far. Scary Pirates of the Caribbean ramp. <laughs> he just lets go. We <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Get in the car with them and goes, Wee! <laughs> That's It looks a like far. a scary ride. It doesn't want to show us. Wait, is that Ranjit? Get out of the road, there's a car coming! We did all this to get past one hill in the garage. Oh no, there's an old man in the way! Oh, I was joking God. about only going two feet through the gate. <laughs> it was just a hill, we could have climbed over it. We just You're fixed that robot old swine, no! Aren't you? One who has mastered Gukumots fears not the blackest pit or the fieriest hell. Your deeds in the east did not go unnoticed. Long have I lain in wait, and sure enough, you did not disappoint. Had you only sworn fealty to Lord Vorthry, you would have no cause to skulk about like frightened animals. You will remain as you are while I dispatch these villains. No, I won't. I won't let you. You forget to whom you speak. Who armed you? Trained you? Fought and killed a thousand Sin Eaters with you? And when you were inevitably cut down and lay lifeless in my arms, who sought out your successor to carry on the futile struggle again and again? We seek to bring peace to what is left of this shattered land, while these mad fools would only bring further chaos down upon us. Do not be deceived, child. Only by Lord Vorthry's hand will this dying world know a sliver of salvation. I don't know about the world, but I never asked to be saved. However much it hurts, and however hard it gets, it's my life, and I want to live it on my own terms! And those mad fools you want me to abandon. The ones I've traveled with, fought with, and may one day die with. They feel the same. So no, I will not be deceived. No matter what you say, I refuse to believe it's all for nothing. They're everything to me. All I have and all I need. And I would gladly do anything for them. Let us pass, or kill me. I'm not leaving here without them. How dare you! Very well. If you would cast your lot with villains, then you shall share their fate. You said, and I'm sorry for all the things I've left unspoken. You have to go now. Thank God, no. Go. Do what you came here to do. I'll not have you waste that newfound resolve on me. Leave her in your hands. Hurry!
How? We need the stupid fucking cart. Is she gonna run? with me you think yourself a protector <laughs> As if a happy father's like day you folks could be a better father to her than me we are heavy on the dad themes today Wait. aren't we <laughs> yeah right kind of yeah I don't know what these moves do. Nope. Just gonna press them all, like I usually do. Yeah. <laughs> That's usually the way. Ah, uh, if you press. So that one thing that says combo is a combo. <laughs> a what? The one with the ruined numeral on it is a series of different attacks in a combo. Ah. Oh, right. Melee only. What's frustrating about this quest is just that, like, it's like the equivalent of that one with the the pixies or whatever where it's just like ah we're going from point a to point b you're trying to accomplish something but they to pad the game out they contrived a time wasty barrier that's in our way and that time it was those creatures being just a nuisance for us but this time around it's just literally there's a door in our way and so they just came up with the most incredibly convoluted possible lore for why you can't open that door right now and have to do a whole region's quest to open the door. And then made a whole character who has a tragic backstory tied to that door and the re and the logistics of how you open that door. And it just got it had so many like layers of like weird esoteric stuff and, and melodrama getting added to like what was ultimately just we gotta get past this one door and then we're gonna forget about this entire place probably forever the moment we're done. And unlike the stuff with the fairy things, like, it doesn't grow the world and setting, really. And it's so convoluted and contrived for what it is that it just doesn't feel... It just does not feel like a good addition to the story. And then, we did, and then after all that, we get five feet past the door and immediately yep. uh, get knocked off the cart anyway. When the whole point of going this way was, to, was the fact that we couldn't go the way we've been before because the army's there. And we can't take the... go through the air because that enemy army has airships. So, but then the moment we go this way, this guy catches us from the enemy faction anyway. This is going well. Damn. Am I hurting him? Like, jeez. He's wearing a dragon scarf. <laughs> oh my god. He's a reaper, I think. Um. What am I supposed to do about this? Die. Damn it, any time to lean up a clean shot, he says. About what? I don't know what my character's talking about. Yeah, I don't either. I think he has like some. Oh, I think he has that stupid shot that she made for him. Remember the one that was filled with magic or whatever? Yeah, the Deus Ex practice round. Cartridge, yeah. whatever it is.
Even though I'm not even close to doing that, what the fuck? You may have 11 billion cuts a uh, health bar, but I have a, a cooldown Estus yep. Flask. I'll also live forever, Ranjit. I have a limit break. Uh, I don't think you can attack that thing. Uh oh. You gonna stop aiming at me soon? <laughs> I'm not good at learning. <laughs> He's not a learning AI. Oh, that might hurt. What do I do for this? Oh, fuck. You have to use the thingy what? when the bad dragons are happening. Yeah, I'm noticing. Special button. Yep, a special button. You have to use limit break? Find a There's round no from limit break. Far more clunky to use. It requires a lot of timing. What am I supposed to be doing? How do I limit break? <laughs> oh, they just killed me. Duty failed. I don't know how to limit break. Oh, there is a special button. I didn't see it. Ah, oh. cool. I gotta do all that over again. Ka me ah. Damn it. I hate stuff like that. Get this. dunked on, loser. <laughs> That's fine. At least I get to skip like half of it. <laughs> oh my god. I'm gonna be here forever, though. So as a warning, when you're in stealth mode and it says you found a, a ammo for your thing and it becomes one out of one, you then have to use it at point blank range. Okay. Oh god. Dude, the stealth dodge his AoEs and then you have to run up behind you have to run up to him basically and, and use it while you're in stealth. Yeah, and it's got a cast time, but quite a long one. It's fairly frustrating to use. Can't cause damage if I dodge every attack forever. Yep. Focus on you, loser. No That's a big AoE. Saying bide your time first trance to strike. I already did it. Game. Yeah. I'm too good at this game for this game. Doesn't expect that's me. That's why I didn't see it. It's behind my fucking pop bar. Oh, that's cool. Oh, you put your pop up in a bad place? I guess, yeah. My bad. That, that boat's. Did your settings get reset or something or broken in the thing? No, I just don't think I've ever had to do this before. Because we have a big, we'll have like a big floating ability in the middle of the screen on a regular basis for like whenever they have yeah. a special ability in a, a dungeon. There's been yeah, a normally few times. it's not here. Yeah. Like um, when they summoned a primal in the middle of the freaking diplomatic meeting, we had to block all the balls. There's usually abilities there. 
I don't know where yours is that it, you didn't notice it though. I put mine in the middle of the screen, along with my debuffs. Just right in the middle. <laughs> it's it needs been to be far noticed. too long since I have done this, and I am far too tired to be doing it properly, it seems. I've I'm doing fine, now. it's just taking forever. Because it's a long one. Turning invisible for the third time. Enhanced by who? Gooka's... Gukumatsu's power? Who's Gukumatsu? Eh. He I broke know, my thing. Gukumats. He cheated. Oh no. The store. I'm gonna lose. I'm a meant to lose fight. <laughs> Ah, uh, story. I'm dying of story. <laughs> Plot damage. What am I gonna do? Shiny, we. Oh, can't leave that. Nope. My character's just kind of falling apart, apparently. Am I doing something wrong, or is this how it's supposed to feel? Hey, if you're talking about getting knocked out of stealth, that's intentional, I'm pretty sure. I'm just, I'm constantly getting stunned now. Yeah, no, that's intentional. And that's it's starting to become a health problem. Mm -hmm. No, the whole stunning and getting knocked out of stealth and all that's intentional to that fight. Damn, dude, this guy's a lot. Yeah. It is not easy. It's very unhelpful that every time I turn into stealth mode, my character also... Oop. He's getting stunned constantly. Mm -hmm. It is very annoying. Fifty-three thousand damage, fuck you! <laughs> Suffer and die. I would spare her that fate. That is not for you or anyone else to decide ever again. You had to, didn't you? For those you had lost. For those you could yet save. A world teetering on the very brink of oblivion. For which you gave your everything. 
without hesitation. Your kindness, your compassion, your love, then and now. One last time, with a little help. I'm so proud to have been a part of your life. Oh, Minfilia. I think he might be dead. Who? Oh. Bankrupt. This time for real, guys. Oh, anyway. It'll be interesting to see if they commit to it or not. Yep. Well, no, I have a sneaking suspicion since this is his ethereal body, it might just send him back to his real body. This is the place, Hero. This is where she stopped the flood. The last time I, he I was here, when I felt her presence overwhelming me, I tried to pretend it wasn't happening, to just turn away. But I can't turn away now. Not this time. For Thancred and the others, I have to face her. Okay. Yeah. Okay. No, we good. In the event that you leave the area, speak with the apprentice engineer at Twi- of, at Twine and Amarang to return to Nabatharang. Or we can just yeah, so the know, guy fly here. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> can we fly here? We can just teleport to the end of Journey's head and fly over there to here. Ah. Yep. Yeah, epic. Well, All right, Keith. It, it just as, I found at this point, was, most people would not have flying. <laughs> what? what do you mean, what am I wearing? I'm not wearing anything. Well, I mean, I'm wearing clothes, <laughs> but I, <laughs> <laughs> wait, wait, I, I didn't mean to. I'm sorry, wait. Okay, that was a little out of context. Clothes. I would never <laughs> wear clothes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm sitting. Yeah, I'm sitting in the basket of something. I'm not wearing this outfit. This is not me. I'm not a giant nightmare bunny thing. Uh, I'm a sexy bunny thing. Excuse you. 